do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. They always look so cozy webbed up like that. Web him from above. Whoa, careful. You stay quiet now. Someone's coming. Guys are getting ready to be bad. What is that? This totally belongs to- Don't move! Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the Bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh-huh. Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I'm covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here, no moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind, we're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions, being willing to say, yeah, that was me. That's the sort of hero I'd want to be at least. Bedfisk saw himself in this, a great man willing to do what others wouldn't. Dude had no self-awareness.
Hmm. Simcaria. Weren't they just in the news? <sighs> Fist cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. I remember when Fisk started illegally importing artifacts like this. He bought the local harbor to cover his tracks and laid off the old staff, including my dad. Wish dad was here now to see how the tables have turned. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Kyoto. So beautiful. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Brought hidden crimes to light. <laughs> we got an old school investigative journalist over here. I like her. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kakemon Baku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo, got it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine, follow me. Thank you. This, this is a really lovely space. It is, and this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just... 
morphed into a huge story. Quiet. What do you mean he had to reschedule? If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is... Pete told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? Hmm. He's holding something. Statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. Maybe these pieces move. Excuse me, sir. You you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In in in, in there. Ba Wen Jin zao shu lai. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. She no! Yes! All right. Of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. This is my Word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? It notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. There we go. Okay, room is clear.
all of them. No! Let me go! MJ! <laughs> The hostage taking guys. Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I fought specters, but you know, technically, specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost that stays on the old bucket list. Daily cardio? Check. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? Since when did Mix become Italian? Uh, no idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Hmm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's how's it going with you? Did did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius's work will help millions. I'm, I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did 
did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, you know if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who's... Uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. We've got a 1010 possible narcotics sale. Officers, please report to Lincoln. MJ wrote this article in the school paper about student protests. She was a heck of a journalist even then. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the grant committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their Slip way. Slip it off. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. A text to Yuri and the cops are on their way. Captain, I've got eyes on a Fisk construction site and their equipment's covered in dust. Just there for show? That's my bet. I'm gonna take a closer look. They think the boss can't run things from inside? They don't know the boss. A lot of 
people owe him a lot of favors, that's for sure. I thought he was buddies with the mayor. They worked together. Boss never trusted him, though. But I guess he was right not to. Well, if what I hear is true, pretty soon Osborne's gonna wish he remembered he was friends of. All clear. Keep an eye out for Spider-Man. That guy's a pain in the ass. Why does he do it anyway? Jameson says he's an egomaniac. Makes sense to me. I got an ego too, but I also gotta get paid if I'm gonna get shot. Jameson says Spider-Man skims off the guy. See that coming. Got eyes on Spider-Man. Got now. Don't let him hit you. Get ready for some pain. Look out. I'm in that chicken mood. Get him. The boss wants Spider-Man. Concrete mix. That's my theory. We'll need probable cause to get on site to confirm it. You'll have it. You're done for. Don, bring him down already. Look out! Mr. Fisk says hi! Hang tough. We got this. Hand more. No shoving. I'll give you all personal attention. Run out! Keep him on the ground. Or 
Captain, I've got Fisk's guys and all the probable cause you need, webbed up and waiting. Good job. Fisk thinks he can run things from inside, but he's gonna find out why long-distance relationships don't work out. for listener emails. Pay from Queens writes, you're so full of anger and I wish you'd get help managing it. It's terrible for your health. Now I know she speaks from a place of concern, but this is a common misconception that I have to correct. I'm not full of anger. I'm full of love. I call out injustice, corruption, and crimes against humanity because I adore this city. And I want it to be better. What you hear in my voice is love. Nothing but love! Attention units. We've just received a report of a break-in. Officers, please converge on Longacre. from the cops back when they thought I was working with Electro. Good thing textbooks are thick. Too bad they're also expensive.
available units got another assault in progress. Started a legit job, you wouldn't need to be criminals. Not again. Been claws yet? A million dollar idea just waiting to happen. Okay, Miss Spider Man's menace. What do you say now? Take it easy, fake Spider Man. Seriously?
know what, Herman? You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Attention units, we've got a 1010 possible narcotic sale. Proceed to two bridges. Over. Unbelievable. I understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spike. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jakes. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then, we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Not these made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Well, I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye. Infamous dumpling recipe. Should have come with step 10. Try not to burn everything in MJ's apartment. Wasn't me. I mean, what towers? I don't mind. In fact, I need your help. I think someone's jamming the system, and they must be using multiple jammers to cover the full frequency range. Could you take a look? If you help, I promise I won't tell anyone you're hacking us. I prefer to call it sharing, but sure. The 
jammers emit a signal I can detect. Just need to swing through the financial district and hunt for a signal. Found a signal. Just need to follow it. Any jamming devices would only be effective atop tall buildings. Jamming devices work better at higher elevations. I bet the strongest signals would be on roof. Fisk's men. This is my shock face. Gotta take out the jamming device. Shoddy workmanship. I just took out a jamming device. Does that do anything? No, but like I said, there's probably a bunch of them. I wonder if Fisk's men had anything to do with the system going down in the first place. Huh? We had a jamming party and didn't invite me. I thought we had a cop on the payroll keeping us off. I can't punch him if he's in the air! Sometimes breaking stuff is the answer, and it's fun too. Spider-Man, it's working. I'm starting to get a weak signal. It's garbled, but I picked up something about Fisk and outfit. Fisk was the kingpin of crime, but he didn't deal in knockoff fashion. The sooner the system is fixed, the sooner we know what they're planning. Only one jammer left. Found you. Anybody? Lady Knight. You're gonna eyes on Spider-Man. Hey! I see him! Lost hey, there he is! You. So am I! What the hell was that? Bring him down before he knocks us all out! No, not me! Spread out! Time to end me! Now I just need Okay, that's the last of them. The system should be back online. Spider-Man, the crime system's working again. Great. Any more info on Fisk's men or those outfits? No, but the system's reporting unauthorized activity down by the docks. I'm sending coordinates now. I'll check it out. Gotta get to the docks before they escape.
small army. Whatever they're planning to do with those, it's nothing good. Snoring now. Someone there? Because if things go south, we'll need all the fire. If I was you, I'd run. Fire in the hole! You don't mess with the kingpin and live. How's he doing? Don't let down! Open wide! Stand down! Now maybe I can figure out what's going on. Guns, prison guard uniforms, and spoofed ID cards. Sorry to spoil your prison break, guys. Looks like New York's finest have it from here. Everything's clear on my end, too. Thanks for restoring the system, Spider-Man. I won't tell anyone you're piggybacking on it, but if you get caught, you're on your own. I have no idea what you're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to delete my selfies from the crime system servers. This used graphing calculator at a pawn shop. Stopped working in the middle of a trig exam. Huh. Sit with that for a while. You were just in time. They were like animals. My Wilson Fisk Science Prize trophy. And check. I couldn't turn it down without arousing suspicion, but no way was I going to take his money. Even though we could have used it. I did accept the lifetime supply of backpacks, though. Nice. Spider crisis coming through! Can't 
1030, robbery in progress, suspect armed. Reported location is no lead up. Face is not proper consumer etiquette. Gotta be a special kind of crazy to rob a storefront in the city Spider-Man protects. I'm telling everyone, Spider-Man's the hashtag greatest. Probably better if I'm not here when the cops arrive. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now.
guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, but she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Uh, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. This one, I have never had a problem. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. Looks like May's not in yet. Miss you. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Man, was I ever a dork. <laughs>